In today's video, we are going to cover Chapter 12, Section 3, Surface Areas of Circular Solids. After studying this section, you'll be able to find the surface area of circular solids. So a cylinder resembles a prism in having two congruent parallel bases. The bases of a cylinder, however, are circles. In this text, cylinder will mean a right circular cylinder, that is, one in which the line containing the centers of the bases is perpendicular to each base. So this would be a right angle. The total area of a cylinder is the sum of the cylinder's lateral area and the areas of the two bases. Notice, in a cylinder, the lateral area, if I unravel it, gives me a rectangle where one of the dimensions is height and the other dimension is the circumference of the cylinder. Then I'd have the area of the two bases. And the bases, again, are circles, so the area of the two bases would be 2 pi r squared. So the lateral area of the cylinder is equal to the product of the height and the circumference of the base, or 2 pi r h. So the total area of a cylinder would be equal to 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared, where r is the radius and h is the height. A cone resembles a pyramid, but its base is a circle. In a pyramid, the slant height and the lateral edge are different, but in a cone, they are the same. So the lateral area of a cone is equal to one half the product of the slant height and the circumference of the base, or pi r l. And the total area of a cone is the sum of the lateral area and the area of the base. So the total area of a cone is equal to pi r l plus pi r squared. And a sphere is a special figure with a special surface area formula, because a sphere has no lateral edges and no lateral area. So that formula is total area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, where r is the sphere's radius. Now if I have a hemisphere or half sphere, if I'm looking at the total area, the total area would also include the base of the hemisphere. So the total area of a hemisphere is equal to half the area of a sphere plus the area of the base, which half the area of a sphere would be 2 pi r squared, and the area of the base is pi r squared, so the total area of a hemisphere is 3 pi r squared. Looking at some sample problems, we have find the total area of each figure. So our first figure is a cylinder. I know the total area of a cylinder is equal to the lateral area plus the area of the two bases. I know my lateral area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h, and the area of the two bases is 2 pi r squared. Plugging in my radius and my height, I would get 2 pi times my radius of 5 times my height of 6 plus 2 pi times my radius of 5 squared. 2 pi times 5 times 6 gives me 60 pi, plus 2 pi times 5 squared gives me 50 pi, which is a total of 110 pi units squared. So the area of the cylinder is 110 pi units squared. Looking at B, I have a cone. I know the total area of a cone is equal to the lateral area plus the area of the base. I know my lateral area is pi r l plus the area of the base, which is pi r squared. That's equal to pi times 5 times 6 plus pi times 5 squared. Pi times 5 times 6 is 30 pi plus pi times 5 squared is 25 pi, which gives me a total of 55 pi units squared. So the area of this cone is 55 pi units squared. C, I have the total area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r squared. Plugging in my radius squared, I get 4 pi times 5 squared, which equals 100 pi units squared. So the total area of the sphere is 100 pi units squared. In this lesson we learned to find the surface area of a cylinder, find the area of the circular basis, then add it to the area of the rectangle created by the circumference and height.
To find the surface area of a cone, find the area of the circular base, then add it to the lateral area created by half the circumference multiplied by the slant height. To find the surface area of a sphere, use the formula 4 pi r squared. That's a wrap on this video. We'll see you in the next one.